Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, and today we're going to be reading, reading uh, the book series, A Little Time for Myself. So this book is a recovery book from al -Anon. And a little bit about myself, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Um, I'm a uh, uh, double winner. They call that a double winner when they call it, they recovery groups call it double winner. Um, at least the ones that I've gone to where you are um, uh, into being sobriety, you know, with your sobriety and also you go to Al-Anon as well so that you can, um, because you're, um, you've had a family member or a friend who has been an addict um, as well. So because how we've been affected so that we can um, go th work through our recovery that way and our traumas that way. And it keeps it simple for me for right now. And that's what I'm doing. I've been doing this for, um, and I've been reading for four years as well as being in my recovery for that as long too. And um, December 13th is my date that will give me five years. So one day at a time, I'm grateful that I am sober and as sane as possible today. <laughs> so that's it. So a friendly reminder also, um, please um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because I do show up every day, God willing, to read here. So um, it helps the channel uh, find others who are looking for this type of content. So I started this so that I would read myself for me and my recovery program. And I thought, well, then I can hear it again whenever I need it. It's like a catalog of readings. So there are many books here. They're all in the the description below. And then I will also post uh, some series videos that you can click on throughout this video. All right. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right. So December 2nd is the date that we're reading a little time for myself, page 337, if you're following along. All right, here we go. All right. Reading as a senior citizen, I struggle with some younger members whose sharings often contained explicit or intimate details and language I often found offensive. So I tended to tune them out or even uh, when their sharings didn't contain explicitives because I was, I didn't like it. So, you know, but we take what we like and leave the rest is the lesson I believe here. So my sponsor brought this to my attention that, um, that I wasn't listening to this person and I was making it a big deal. And I began to think about it. So I began to listen then intently, especially to this person, this young person. Um, and I focused on their entire sharing instead of just the X-rated words. So I thought about it, see what I could do about it because it's for me and my recovery and um, open my mind so that I can heal. So um, by the end of like eight weeks or so, I realized that I had learned a great deal about relating to other members, like younger members who you know, came that talk differently and were different than me. And the young person offered insight uh, into what it was like growing up in a, an alcoholic home as well. And so this gave me a greater understanding of my adult children. So he also showed me a few innovative ways uh, to apply the 12 steps in my life. So I finally understood the principles over personalities concept that Alanon offers. 
So today's reminder, when we share with each other then the age, language, and other factors are not as significant as how we practice the program. And life-changing help can take any avenue. Um, the help can take any form and any voice. Open your mind. So the question of the day is, how have I changed by listening? to others, um, their experiences, strength, and hope. That's different than mine. That's what I'm there for. That's what we're here for is to, to be able to do that so that we can connect to each other um, in the meetings and outside as well. So that's where I found um, I can take like the, like, it's like a, a way, um, like a spiritual way of, of keeping things simple, at least for my, you know, so-called ADHD mind, this for me keeps it simple. So if you have any of that, um, to share, I'd like to hear about it. So, um, that helps me too. All right. So I love you guys. And, um, let's say the serenity prayer and then, um, that's it for today. God grant us serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. All right. I love you. And I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. Okay. All right. Very good.